shown up. <laughs> um, why don't we call this meeting to order? We've received the um, Planning Commission document. We actually asked for one change, which we made. And um, I would ask, does anybody in the Planning Commission want to ask any questions, I'm sorry, on the select board, any questions of Jan or John at this point, or make any comments? Are we all clear what we're talking about? Well, this is supposed to be a public hearing. Um, there's Gary. <laughs> Come on in. Um, I don't know. Bill. Who's that? Oh, yeah. yes. Bill, Bill, are you here because you want to hear about the zoning? Yes. Okay. So would it help you to have a little bit of an overview? Or have you had a chance to read it? I could not find it anywhere to read it. Oh, it's on. Yeah, it was hard to find on the website. Well, I, what I have is, is what I have is dated September two thousand twenty-three. Oh, no, find. it's had that is the one that is final. Okay. Because that's the one that was presented after the planning commission's public hearing, and that's what was presented to the select board. Okay. And if you grab that off of the planning commission page, uh, down to the bottom of the callus. Yes, that's what yes. I found. That's what I found. Yes. But there was, not, there was nothing with any markup. Um, there was one with a markup. Was there further up? But I think that was further up. Okay. And it's it's a it's not fully marked up. It's one of those that are kind of marked up. But you have to understand that uh, that would be the third or fourth iteration, and so mm -hmm. to see a markup from what it was way back in the beginning to where it is now. Um, yeah, there is one that's good. Essentially, the whole Shoreland District, which is um, section 2.7, right? If I remember correctly. 2.4. Right. 2.4, that's all new. Mm -hmm. And the whole River Corridor Overlay District is all new. That's what I'm here about, yeah. As is the oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's right, river slash flood yeah. hazard. Yeah. Plus, there was some changes to the process for um, um, get going for a permit in the historic district, mm -hmm. which, which is going through the DAB. And those are basically the three things you did. Is that right? Am I missing anything? Yeah. Other than that, it was mostly just cleanup here and there. Mm -hmm. um, so your concern is the river corridor? Yeah, can I start with some questions or? I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Uh, I mean, I, I, I started reading this and of course, because I now live in a river corridor supposedly. Um, a lot of people were surprised. Okay, substantial improvement. Substantial improvement to <laughs> section nine. I, I, I found no section nine having anything to do with substantial improvements, what that means. It's not in section nine. Unless I'm missing it. So I don't I'm, I stupidly can't find my file. I must have left my file with the zoning at home. Can you help? I don't think we have substantial improvement language in the river corridor. We do in flood hazard. It's in the, 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 the table. There's a table there. There's only one. There's Article 9, definition. Section 9.1. Oh, you're in, you're in definitions? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not river corridor, though. Oh, well, where's Section 9 then? Section 9 is the very end is definitions. And we placed all definitions in section 9. 2.7 is the area that's got all of the language for flood hazard overlay and river corridor. And in the river corridor section overlay is a section that's got a grid and it tells you what what is uh, what is allowed and substantial, uh, a substantial, um, yeah. It's page 33. It's there. And, and, and by the way, in, that, in section 9, there are two sections of definitions. There's your regular definitions, and then bottom is the definitions that rely strictly on flood hazard. Because by state, the state river corridor people, 
they have their own set of definitions, and so we put them at the bottom and they're signified. The bottom of the definitions? definitions yeah. They okay. just grow all the way down because that's where the definition for what you're looking for is. Okay. Is there a way we could make that site more clear? Section 9B or whatever it is? I I'm, wish I had it in front of me. Well, I don't know if there is a way to make it more clean or not. I don't know what you no, mean. No, more clear so that he wouldn't have gotten confused. Yes, it, I don't know. There is a statement at the very top that says that this is, there's two uh, sections. Okay. I, I thought. I don't see that. Um, well, I'm sorry. Here we go. Yes, now the alphabet, alphabet starts <laughs> over again. Okay. All right. I didn't, I didn't see that. Okay. And Bill, a lot of that information is, um, what do I want to say, mandated? Yeah. It's a almost required language that comes from the state. I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. And Jan, if we don't have that language, we become ineligible or if we do have the language, we become, we become eligible for more FEMA reimbursement yes. in the case yes. of an emergency. Is what that right? What we're doing now yeah. meets the flood yeah. FEMA, and it also uh, meets the state's requirement for ERAP. And who, who decided the flood hazard overlay, the boundaries of that? Who, who, who decided that? The state maps. <laughs> Yeah, because it, it, based on the, it shows the corner of Elsa's house being in it, and she's, you that's know, right. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> they took, uh, they took the, the river course and expanded it. Yeah. They called that fluvial erosion hazard, and then added a buffer onto that. And that buffer may be running through a solid piece of uh, a stone hillside, yeah. impossible to erode. Yeah, the okay. states decided that's what they're doing. John, I had along along those lines, my my limited experience working with the state and, the, and those maps because they're made in an office, you know, with a map that just and they do simple delineations. Uh, was there any was there any indication that they, as they get out into the field or have requests, that they would be adjusting those relative to site conditions? And that, that's definitely anyone who's got a question about what they can do in a map river corridor, they should call the state and have them come out and look at it. Um, we did that on a, on a property on, a, on Nelson, Nelson. And, and the state verified that their map was correct. Um, we had them come look at this building here when this was being done and the map wasn't correct. And, and what Bill just mentioned, the hill <coughs> At Elsa Inkpens, there's no way that there's going to be a, a an, an event that's going to knock out an entire you know hillside that's salt, solid stone. So yeah, and any question should you should contact the state, and I think we made that clear. And there's a process for appealing that their decision. Yes. You, yeah. yeah. In my experience, Bill, it has, it's not a formal process more than, as much as it is an invitation to, to say that I feel like there's a discrepancy and they, mm -hmm. they come onto the parcel and observe it and have a conversation about it. And if it doesn't meet the qualifications, then they go back and adjust the map with, with site-specific information. Um, I know that that's been something that I've observed them do for either habitats or uh, or other site specific things that just don't right. that aren't relevant to um, yeah. same thing with flood hazard. Yeah. If, if, you, if you're not sure if the map looks right, you call the state and have them take a look at it. And in that case, if you want to do a LOMA then you you have to hire somebody who will get you a LOMA so yeah. that you can be outside of the flood hazard. Um, it, going back to your point, um, we, you know, we had this, um, the people from the state look at this one property. I mean, they actually went into the river and went up that river and did the measurement from bank to bank and all of the other things that they were doing to verify that, that, that this property 
that they were looking at was in fact in River Quarter. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, that same property, the uh, stream, as it was depicted graphically between the two ponds, is between Nelson and, and Number Ten. The stream wasn't located correctly on the on the map. So then, when the so the flood hazard area wasn't as correct as it should have been. Uh, with the now that we've got one foot lidar contours, it's easy to see stream channels, and it was it was clear that the location of the stream had been misrepresented on the map. So all good reasons to get the state to come look at it. And yeah. it's a doubt. The maps changed. I mean, the maps changed oh, pretty much. They just seem to change. <laughs> Bill, did you have other questions? No. I don't <laughs> think so. Okay. Well, thank you for the do, question. I need to do some more reading now. But okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, is there anything else? My goodness. You want to invite comment or questions oh, from the um, online community? Ask if there's, we don't usually, but sure. Yeah, okay. let's see if there's anybody who wants to make a statement so or ask a question. David, Noreen, or Scott, would you like to ask any questions or make comments? I'm good. OK. Jan, that email you sent us a week or so ago, may I make a public statement about it? Oh, yes. Okay. Jan is leaving us. She's not leaving us. She's retiring from the Planning Commission after how many years of service? I don't know. Too numerous. <laughs> Too numerous. <laughs> Five or six or seven. I, can, I joined planning, I think, in 2013. 2013, so 10. so 10 years. And you've been chairing it most of that time? Uh, I've been chair for the last five or six. These guys probably know more than I do. He's going to run the road for him Jan has done incredible service. She shepherded this this uh, this major rewrite of the zoning through the whole process, and we're almost to the end now. And yeah, thank yeah. you for your service. It's thank you. Okay. okay. Um, shall I declare this hearing closed? Does anybody else want to say anything? Okay. Well, We're closed. Oh, good. thank you so much. And I guess it's up to us now to decide. We t what do we have to do? We have to actually have a motion <clears throat> to warn it for a vote. Is that right? Well, as part of the warning, it wasn't. I mean, you you will eventually approve that entire collection of. Okay, so items. we don't have to have a specific I vote on this. I, I wouldn't think you need to do anything tonight. Are you guys, well, we're going to look at the warning tonight. Are you guys all okay with this? We're putting it on the morning for a vote by Australian ballot um, this March. Okay. okay. Yeah, Larry. Just, just curious about your did that indicates that the possible action is also the select board uh, accepting the report of the planning commission. It sounds like some kind of a formal. Yeah, you're right. Event. It does. does let's happen? let's yeah, let's do a motion to uh, accept formally accept the report. Could somebody please move that? Yeah. So moved. Okay, Rose, you got language for that? Um, to accept the um, revised land use regulations. Yeah. I guess I would say propose the proposed amendment to the regular to the. Land use and development is the official title, um, and and in the event that there was no uh, the, the select board had no proposed changes, and in that event, um, are moving it forward so that the population um, can vote to adopt it. I mean, ba basically, what's the warning is to adopt these as the amendments. So. Okay, Rose. That's kind of crazy language, but the checklist. Is okay, so Jordan Jordan moved to adopt the amendments uh, as proposed by the Planning Commission. All right. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. And it's unanimous. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> when are you guys meeting next? Huh? When are you guys meeting next? 
We meet uh, next um, a week from tomorrow. A week from tomorrow. Week from and tomorrow. what's on that agenda? Don't know yet. I have. I, I need to have your minutes yeah, so yeah. I can set up the agenda. Town uh, plan. Uh, yeah. It's all the town plan. plan. Okay. And um, so we have that meeting. We have a, the first Tuesday will be another meeting, and then uh, February 18th, which is a Sunday. Um, we're having a, um, our first callous-wide meeting uh, for the uh, town plan. First of how many? Hmm? First of how many meetings are you thinking of? <coughs> what? How many meetings? You said first callous-wide meeting. Does that mean you're planning to have more than well, one callous-wide meeting? that will be subject to debate. Uh, I mean, it's, it, it, it's the initial one. <laughs> and, you know, we, we did have our discussion and said um, whether we want to meet in each of the hamlets, but we thought we would like to use this space and have it be show that it is central, it is callous, it is the callous town plan, and um, that's how we write it. And so it will be both virtual, if we can figure out we all the hybrid stuff, and, we'll and the OWL, we're going to do both uh, a hybrid meeting. And Just like this. Right. And we're hoping, I think, the, the public relations campaign will start soon. We've got a draft of what will go on the front page forum, and I'm assuming Jared will want to move that along every week. And then we'll put in the link and kind of build it up. Great. And you're going to be talking about that at the next meeting? Yeah. I mean, the, okay. that and we've got, you know, we've drafted some questions that we want to ask. Maybe we, we, we pretty much decided at our meeting this is our listening chance mm -hmm. for the public, for the public to talk, the planning commission to listen. Okay. Each, pre, each person has a set of, from the town plan to draft up. Mm -hmm. Um, we've established our protocol, and we've established who will be controlling the document. And I guess it's just a more of a follow-up as the next meeting of that. Okay. Terrific. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Thanks so much. You're welcome. All right. It's um, 5.20. We've got another 40 minutes, and I... Did you guys get a chance to read the rules of procedure? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, should we mention about mapping? Oh, the next oh when, when I think the 22nd. 22nd. Yeah, on uh, January 22nd, Franco Rossi is going to come in and make his presentation. Right, Franco Rossi, okay. Yeah. From CAI. Uh, yeah, and he has to be on early. Huh? He has to be on early. He, he wanted to be on at 7, didn't he? Oh, whatever time you guys want. It sounds like he's available. Is, is that a regular set for meeting? That's yeah. a Tuesday. No, no, that is a Monday. No, it's the next. He, asked, he said he would come on the 22nd, which is our next meeting. <clears throat> okay, then earlier. Um, okay, well, we can talk about that. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Um, and I think he told us how much time he wanted, but I can't remember. Half an hour? <clears throat> I give him half an hour, 45 minutes anyway. Is there a way for him to do that remotely? I'm going to be in Minnesota that week, which is a real bummer, because I was the one who asked for it. So. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the answer to that. When you're on think? Zoom, you can have the demo on the screen yeah. and for share sure the screen, screen. Okay. with Zoom. That should work. Yeah, it might work better. Right. Yeah, that, that'd be great. <laughs> Okay, great, thank you. Okay. All right, we're going to move on to rules of procedure. And I left my file, but um, let's try to do it anyway. Do you guys want to spend a few minutes working on that? It'll save us some time in March when we're trying to get organized. If I think that'd be great. Going now. Um, I may have to look over somebody's shoulder. I sent you a draft. Yeah. So, this was here. When we all sent you edits. You and Gabrielle last, were the only ones who sent edits. So this draft incorporates those Correct. edits. Correct. Okay, that's what I thought, because I read it and I was like, this is way better than I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, James. <laughs> 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 
Yes, so did you close the public hearing yes. now we're in the regular select board meeting? Um, I suppose so, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay, so I would ask if anybody has any other comments they would like to make on this. You've all had it, had it for a week or two. <laughs> You're making this um, this meeting so it goes so fast. Um, I was wondering if the regular time and I should just be six. I mean, we've been running. Oh, I didn't change that, did I? I think it was seven. It has always been seven, and. We've been operating this entire year with it at six, and and we seem to like that. And I haven't, yeah, I haven't found that to be any more painful. I don't think it says the time. Under the meeting section number one, it says second and fourth Mondays of each month at the town hall. But You're right. It doesn't the list the time. Which maybe it should. I don't know. Would you? Yeah. It probably should. Okay. Add time to meetings number one. I remember somewhere it was a time was always called out, and I think maybe it was just on like the warnings saying that it or or on the website. So it just kind of habitually kept getting warned as seven for a while. I think. Okay. Anyway, so change that. Maybe it's better not to have a time. Because sometimes it's five if we have a lot going on, sometimes it's seven if somebody has a conflict. Well, if we said regular meetings shall take place at six o'clock, that's, that's all right. Then, it's not a problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I can fix that. Or somebody can. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Really? Would somebody like to? We move to replace the rules of procedure. What we did last time, uh, in last April, I think, was adopt the rules of procedure as written by the last select board, and this changes those. Would you like to move to replace those with this, with the one change noted that we'll put the time in? I, I have one other question before we do that. Okay, go ahead. Um, under the public participation section, bullet number two, it says each meeting there will be up to 15 minutes allotted for public comment. Mm -hmm. I know that's the standard, but does that limit us to 15 if we have something that we think there's going to be a lot of comment, we might put on the agenda that it's 45 minutes. I just don't want that but does language it to okay. limit. It See, I thought that would have been fixed on the third one, but that might be a separate thing if people are talking about agenda items as opposed to public. Yeah, that's a good point, Jamie. It does. Yeah, it says if it's more than 15 minutes, we'd schedule it as an agenda item. So we could just change that. She'll be approximately 15 minutes. And then, right. you know, we... Okay. Does that work if I just say... So you can say at least 15 minutes? Oh, we could do it that way? Yeah. Is that I like, is that, I like okay. that better. At least. Yeah. Okay. Change to at least. All right. Hey, are you going to make the changes in a document? And then, uh, uh, I assume uh, these are on the website somewhere. The final mm -hmm. version. On the website? I'm sure they, they are. Must, yeah. They must live there, don't they? Yeah. Uh, there but, but there's a lot more changes than just this from the last. Right. What, what would be on the website? Yeah. The, yeah. So this the, needs to be changed, and then we need to replace it right. once we vote it. Yeah. Right. Do you want me to do that, or are you? Oh, going to do that? <laughs> I'm happy if you want to okay. do it. It's pretty simple. Thank okay. you. All right. So I just want to make sure I have those. So it's the that we're going to add the time, the meeting time, mm -hmm. and we're going to say at least 15 minutes. Yeah. For public comment. All right. Anything else? I'm having trouble finding it right now. I thought I stumbled on something on the section where it talks about continuing meetings. I remember that. Oh. 
Uh, back to meetings, bro. Yeah, that was up. Yeah, under the meeting section? Yes, you had given me some, I think it was you, suggested. Number eight, meetings may be recessed uh, to a time and place, certain. And then you had me add some language, I think it was you, it was either you or Gabrielle, yeah. that said, in that case, you'll try to warn it. Yes, and, okay. And that's reasonably I, possible. And I, think I think that, that did there. get in here. Mm -hmm. In this case, Number the public eight, notice of the meeting shall be provided. I didn't see an eight. I didn't see an eight, just kind of. Three. Oh. I'm not, I'm. Could you go? I thought I saw it earlier, but, oh. Meetings be, maybe. Here it is. It's number three. And, uh, that's that's an emergency meeting. Special meetings have to be warned pursuant to number five, which is the same as the warning process. It makes it the same warning process as it is for a regular meeting if it's a special meeting. Right. I think my question was on continued meetings. Oh, continued as opposed to emergency. As a, so, because what we've sort of been doing, we haven't been warning continued meetings on the assumption that if you were at the first one you know it when it was continued right. to and I do I kind of think it's better to warn okay is it the in continuation, continuation if possible uh, apparently not right I'm I thought I saw it in here the other day but now I'm not finding it where do you want to begin? <laughs> I thought I, I just wanted to quickly okay. take. No, it wouldn't be an organization. How are you doing that? Okay. So we have organization. No. no. And then agendas. it's agendas. Okay. So it might be an agenda because you know, doing it all for eight hours. No. Okay. So that's that's how you do a, a regular meeting. Conducted in a. And then it time. says prior to a twenty-four hour meeting. No, I'm sorry, I should have bookmarked it. I just okay. And we ascertained it's not in meetings. What comes after meetings? There's no use of the word continue or continued. So I guess it's I think we use recessed. So I right. think the only recessed is number eight under organization meetings may be oh. recessed to a time and place. Certain That's it. In, in, uh, in this case, some public notice. Oh, in this case, some public yeah. notice of the meeting. Thank you, Jordan. Uh, yeah, shall be should be provided if right. possible. Does that cover it, Jamie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I we didn't just do think that we, last time, did Right. I think it would be best practice no. if we. Now, now that you're adopting these rules. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, but sometimes we continue it to the next day. Right. So it, it, you probably can't warn it. But right. if we continue it to a week later, right. then you could. Then you can. Yeah. 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 Perfect. OK. Anything else? <clears throat> Thank you for tackling it. <laughs> yes. You're welcome. Huh. You ready to move it? Or do you want a few more minutes with it? I was only the only other thing that I was kind of wondering if I wanted to have a little conversation about was the um, was the agenda items. Okay. Um, that would be under agendas. Yeah, or is that just really not? I got distracted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all business shall be conducted in the same order as it appears in. Agenda. It's okay. It's giving Wayne a chance to catch up on the football. Yeah, score. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is starting yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's a good one tonight. <laughs> so under organization number four talks about how no one has the authority to represent or act on the board unless specifically given that authority, but doesn't that doesn't the chair have that role like if the 
if someone has to speak, if a question is posed, like media calls, isn't 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 the chair empowered already to speak? I, I'm in, uh, yeah. I mean, any of us can speak to the media and oh, tell talk okay. about what's going on, but I can't say the board decided or the board. I can't right. give a board opinion unless the board tells me that's their opinion. Okay. I think yeah. that's what that's... I guess it's more of a spokesperson role, which on a lot of boards is sort of by default the chair's role. But maybe that's not how it works here. I wouldn't maybe think anybody. so. If the, if the press called Anne, she could talk. She's not forbidden from talking to them as long yeah. as she well, doesn't... Be, that would be different than being the board thinks... That's right. I think this far, right. like most media is like, how are things going? And yeah, if it was something. I think so. About like an important mm -hmm. issue that we would need to have a single board voice that we think we would have none to. Of, none of us is empowered to do that okay. unless we specifically yeah. say, you take the lead on this and you're like, we authorize Jamie to make a couple of decisions on the Curtis right. Pond on our behalf at one point. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, Right, and we've, we've made a couple of other authorizations. I, I think number four kind of speaks pretty clearly to, to that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know that we've had any issue with, with spokes, spokespersons so much. Yeah, and you've been making decisions on IT, and you mm -hmm. and Anne have been making decisions on the Shed case. We did authorize that as the lead. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Jordan, how are you doing? Well, now I got distracted. Um, <laughs> so far, I don't think it's, it's been an issue. I'm just trying to find where I, where I was reading it. But um, it was uh, taking up agenda items that aren't on, on the agenda, on the warned agenda. Um, and I think one of the practices that we've um, done pretty well as in addition to allowing folks to make comment on any non-agenda items in the beginning of the meeting we solicited are there or made a call for any additional agenda items that need to be addressed and and I think that that is a helpful practice just to get in the habit of making room for anything that needs to be brought up and then scheduling that into the conversation mm -hmm. or so I, I just didn't see any language that really that allows for that that allowed for that um okay. number six under agendas under meetings or agendas does allow for additions and deletions that are Maybe made as the first act of business. I think it needs, yeah, I think making it the first act of business, otherwise it just mm -hmm. gets moved on or scheduled for another time. Does that not cover it for you? It, it does. It's, it's fine. I have one more. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. <laughs> Um, under agendas number five, I believe the last sentence is completely repetitive of the first sentence because posting it on the website, the web, town website is listed as one of the places it has to be posted. Oh, it is. Right? Yep. yep. I think that's true. So we can strike that last sentence. I think sentence. that whole last sentence can just go. I agree with you. Yeah. Everybody else too? Thank <laughs> you, Jamie. Good catch. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kari, you got that. I got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything else? I just have a general question. Mm -hmm. So, um, is this document and this rules of procedure, is this something that we currently have and we've had right along that's been on the town website and you just want to revise it or it's something that needed to be done that we really did it's, it's kind of both. Um, we wanted to make some changes to it last March and we started the process 
and and then we just then the flood happened. <laughs> well, first of all, and before the flood, even before the flood, that. we just got so buried in trying to figure out what was going on with the Curtis Pond Dam and the shed yeah. case and it, so on and so on that we just it, it, we it got according to the rules, it needs to be it's supposed to be readopted the first meeting after town meeting every year, and so we adopted the old one. Intending to change it as soon as we had a chance. Because so we'll be it again <laughs> next March. I that's believe, right. But I believe it's, it's a statutory requirement. Right. You, it you is. Have, you have to adopt. You have to adopt some sort of procedural rules, and so that that is either you know I think in many cases cases for a lot of organizations uh, Roberts rules, which can then get pretty burdensome if not everybody's familiar with them. Otherwise, you know, second to that, you have to have some sort of documented rules and procedures that get adopted every year after organizing the board. So I just thought since we had a little downtime here, we may as well do it and then we'll just, it'll be easy in March, we'll just, we won't have to talk about it. The, the main reason for my question is, in my 18 years with the select board, I don't remember a formal document like this. Yeah, I think it's a statutory thing that yeah. And I know that they talked about old. it. I know that the first meeting after town meeting is the organizational meeting, and they would just say it, and that would become part of the minutes. You know, it would say we meet on such and such, and this and that, and you know, mm -hmm. we'd lay out some things, but never with this amount of detail. And so, I just find it very curious, but I think it's great, and it's thorough, and it's important, and we should follow the rules and we should have this, <laughs> but I just don't ever remember. I mean, and I was with the select board till 2021. I mean, this is based on the one that we inherited. Yeah, so it, yeah. So it yeah. might have been with the last select board. Right. And well, it's it, which is based on the model VLCT right. yeah. Yeah. rules. This is something I think the legislature did about 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, same thing happened when I took over the DRB. Yeah. It turned out we were supposed to have done it in 2015 and nobody had done it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we had to go through but the process. I think it's very good. Yeah. Okay, anything else? I'd like to get on to executive session if we could. Oh, yeah. Um, do you have to adopt this? Would you like to adopt them tonight or do you want some more time with this document? I'd make a motion to adopt them as proposed with the edits uh, that have been discussed. Uh, there were only two, right? I think there were about Three. four, weren't there, Kari? There's Sorry. a timing move, let me say. The, the, the changes? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to hear them? Do you want to there hear them? There are three. I, I got Three. Bad meeting and start time was 6 p.m. Change the public comment period to at least 15 minutes and strike the second sentence of number five about the mornings. Yep. Okay. I'll second that motion. All right. All set. <clears throat> All in favor? All right. Aye. 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 Thank you. So those will replace the old rules of procedure. Great. Yay. One off our the list that's been on there forever. Um, all right. As you know, Kari and Donnie interviewed um, a candidate for road foreman and do we need to pause everything we ahead. will need to do that once we make a motion oh, I, see. I would like to suggest we go into executive session for a few minutes to just hear their report um, could I have a motion to oh under uh, 1 VSA section 313 a1b to discuss hiring of uh, personnel so moved. Okay. Who said that? Jamie moved. Would somebody please second. second? And seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, so, oh, and we'll invite Kari. Of course, obviously, Kari has to come in with us. But.